Hi, I'm Rob Streeter and I'm the author of The Greats of Adirondack Fly Fishing. This is another video from the series that I've done on the flies that appear in the book. And now we're getting into Lee Wolf's flies. Lee Wolf was an incredible fly angler. He had worldwide renown for his skills. He wrote several books on fly fishing. He wrote a number of magazine articles. He also was a television star on the American Sportsman TV series where he showed fly fishing. He went on to, with his wife Joan, um, found a fly fishing school in the Catskills, the Wolf Fly Fishing School, and they also formed a tackle company. So they, between the two of them and uh, through the years, had incredible careers in fly fishing. So the fly we're going to tie today is the white wolf and he tied them for the Adirondacks and we're up here in our camper and we are up near the West Branch. I've been fishing the West Branch every night and every morning and it's appropriate that we're up here to do this video because Lee Wolf's famous series of flies, the wolf hair wing dry flies, was created with the Adirondacks in mind. He used to travel up here and fish the West Branch quite a bit and in the 1930s he came up with the idea for the first hair wing uh, dry flies. And they're significant because he built them for the Adirondacks and felt that the Catskill style of dry flies were a little too flimsy for the type of water that you encounter up here. So here's how you tie the white wolf. So tying a white wolf in the camper getting a little bit of rain on the roof of the airstream so you'll definitely be hearing that. Wolf used bucktail for the tail and the wings and another interesting thing about Lee Wolf is that he didn't tie flies with a vise just like William Scripture Jr. he tied all his flies holding the hook in his hand and I am not going to even attempt that. We get a little bunch of bucktail together the tail and we can start our thread this hook is a number 10 and he generally tied these pretty big the flies of his that he tied that I photographed I think we're eights and tens. So we're going to use a bucktail for the tail. Get that tied in. it down. He also used bucktail for the wings, so we'll get a little bunch, bunch of that together. And this time I'm going to cheat. I don't know that he used a hair stacker, but I'm going to use it because it's going to make this a lot neater. Enough in for a wing. Some wraps in front of it.
split the wing. I always do a couple figure eights around the base. So for his original fly, he tied it with a yarn body. I'm gonna cheat and just dub in a white rabbit fur body. Some wax on the thread. our body, grab a couple of hackles. Tie the hackles in. Okay.
back. And we do a whip finish. fibers to clean up. And that's it. White Wolf. It looks a little odd and a little messy. I think it's because of the bucktail. But it's a high floating dry fly and it was born right here where we are, right around the west branch of the Osable River was the original thought for these flies. So if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We're slowly and steadily growing the channel. Um, we're going to have more videos in this Adirondack series. We've got a couple to go, and then we're going to do a new series on some warm water flies that I tied for my other book um, on warm water fly fishing. So please go ahead and, like I said, hit, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.